Remember when your boss said, think outside the box? Well, now the box thinks back, and it's getting smarter every day. Here we are in an era in which robots do not merely carry out instructions. Rather, they are capable of thinking, creating, and making decisions. They are capable of designing structures, writing music, diagnosing diseases, coding entire programs, and even crafting dialogue that simulates human speech with a level of precision that is unsettling. As the line between what is considered human and what is considered artificial continues to blur, there are times when even professionals are unable to differentiate between the two. Somewhere, a poet is crying because ChatGPT just wrote a sonnet about coffee that got 10,000 likes. But before we get into that, let's take a moment to ask the question that no one wants to know the answer to. If artificial intelligence can do everything you can do, faster, cheaper, and more efficiently, then what is left for you to do? It is not an act of fear-mongering. This is the truth. Code is gradually replacing teams of people in industries all over the world. This is happening in a stealthy manner. It is now possible for a single AI model to write marketing campaigns, something formerly required entire teams to do. The software is capable of analyzing legal contracts in a matter of seconds, processing consumer complaints in real time, and writing video scripts that are more in tune with the tone of a brand than a professional writer could be. Neither of these are speculative. At this very moment, it is taking place, and it is gaining momentum. Meanwhile, your laptop is probably updating itself right now, plotting its next career move. The fact that the shift appears to be unnoticeable is the most worrisome aspect. The loss of your employment does not happen overnight. To begin, it is subtle. In order to aid your team in working smarter, a new AI assistant has been launched. After a few months have passed, the assistant begins to take over the majority of the work. When management understands that fewer people are required to sustain production by the beginning of the next year, that is when they kick off the process of layoffs. First it helps you, then it becomes you. Kind of like your intern, but with better spelling. The workforce is already being reshaped as a result of this gradual and covert shift. It is not a predetermined event that will take place in the year 2030. Rather, it is a process that is taking place on a daily basis. At this very moment, the tools that you employ are gaining knowledge from you, discreetly gathering information and getting ready to take your position tomorrow. Try to picture what this situation might look like from the point of view of the corporation. You have the ability to hire 10 workers, each of whom would be required to work eight hours per day and would require salaries, benefits, and vacation time. You might also implement a single artificial intelligence system that is available around the clock, consumes a fraction of the expense, and never calls in sick. The decision is self-evident when seen from a commercial perspective. Artificial intelligence does more than merely reduce costs. It also increases efficiency, accuracy, and scale. AI is being enthusiastically embraced by businesses of all sizes, from fledgling startups to multinational conglomerates. This is not because they have a hatred for people. Rather, they are unable to afford not to. Let's be honest. If AI could also make coffee and tell bad jokes, management would probably marry it. We are currently witnessing the emergence of a new sort of economy, one in which human work is no longer the norm, but rather the exception. Companies that were once required to have teams of designers, analysts, and marketers are now able to function with only a few individuals and a network of artificial intelligence tools. Automation is the new competitive edge. Personnel is no longer the key to success. Therefore, it is feasible that by the year 2030, 90% of the employment that is currently available will be either automated or fundamentally altered. This is not necessarily due to the fact that humans will disappear from the labor. Rather, it is due to the fact that the work itself will undergo profound transformations. By 2030, I work with AI might sound like I can use electricity. Just give this some thought for a moment. In the past decade, 
social media management was a relatively new and flourishing field of work. At this point in time, artificial intelligence is capable of generating, scheduling, and optimizing posts across all platforms without the need for human monitoring. Artificial intelligence is already helping with document evaluation and research in the legal field, which were duties that formerly required junior associates to put in significant hours of effort. So yes, your playlist might soon feature top hits by algorithm. You can think that your industry is secure, but the past demonstrates that this is not the case. In every technological revolution, entire professions have been brought to their knees. During the time of the Industrial Revolution, machines were able to take the place of millions of skilled workers. When computers were more widely used, a significant number of clerical employment disappeared throughout the digital era. Now, artificial intelligence is on the verge of doing the same thing to knowledge labor, which is the very thing that we believed made humans irreplaceable. What's more, this isn't all bad news and gloom. There are additional nuances to the reality. It is true that artificial intelligence will eliminate millions of jobs, but it will also create whole new jobs. The issue is that those new positions will call for completely different skill sets, and not everyone will be able to make the move in time without any problems. Rather than being a gap between humans and machines, it will be a divide between humans who understand artificial intelligence and humans who do not comprehend AI. If you stopped learning after Excel 2007, it might be time for an upgrade, and I don't mean your software. It is not expertise that is the new currency of success. Rather, it is agility. Those that learn how to work with artificial intelligence rather than against it will be the ones who succeed. AI will be viewed as a collaborator rather than a danger by them. They will use it to their advantage in order to maximize creativity, increase insight, and speed up invention. The persons who will be at the forefront of the subsequent wave of growth are as follows. All the rest? They are going to cling to the past in the hope that things will return to unnormal. In contrast, there is no way to go back in time. There is a rapid progression taking place in the world, and those who are unable to keep up with it will be left behind. It is essential to recognize that artificial intelligence is not malicious. Its purpose is not to put an end to humankind. Although it is a tool, it magnifies whatever it comes into contact with, just like any other powerful tool. AI isn't coming for you, unless you keep ignoring all those learn prompt engineering ads. Now we find ourselves at a fork in the road. Fear, resistance, and complete obsolescence are the outcomes of one road. It is not a question of whether artificial intelligence will take your work. Are you able to make connections between concepts that no algorithm could see? Would you be able to think beyond the rules and patterns? Mainly due to the fact that these are the characteristics that will characterize the next generation of workers, also known as the personal advantage. The reality is straightforward, yet it is unsettling. AI won't merely be able to steal employment. It will take the place of individuals who refuse to progress, those who are able to adjust will achieve greater heights than ever before. Those individuals who do not will be relegated to the annals of history, wondering how everything transpired so rapidly. In the future, there will be no friendly or antagonistic people. Everything will just be different. And as a result of that distinction, both danger and opportunity are there. You have the option of either being afraid of it or being able to triumph over it there will be no machines coming to take over your employment. Your complacency is going to be targeted by them. Plot twist. The real villain wasn't AI. It was our comfort zone all along. So the question that really has to be asked is not, will AI take my job? In other words, the question is, will I be able to replace myself before it happens? Would you like it? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channels for more interesting and informative videos. Do it now. Before an AI watches this and hits like first,